Hi, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for subscribing and commenting. Okay, so today I have a bit of a different haul. So um, I went to a few stores looking for some blingy sandals, jewel sandals, and just really something that would like fit my style. And I couldn't find anything. I don't want to talk to you. <laughs> and you're like, I can't see your face. So um, the first sandal I bought was this one. And like I said, I went to a ton of stores and I could not find anything. And a couple years ago, I found a ton of jewel and blingy sandals from Ross. I tried Ross, Diz W, um, Marshalls, Burlington, and I came out empty handed out of every single store. So I was like, okay, back up Amazon, of course, right? So I went to Amazon and I found um, these. Very nice, right? These are kind of like your T-strip flat sandal. So the rhinestone, the rhinestones start here across like the bridge of the shoe, up, down, throughout the center. And then, you know, that part wraps around your foot. And then they have this little silver detail here. So these could kind of be very dressy if you needed it to go somewhere and you weren't able to wear high heels if you don't wear high heels or whatever this is this will be your dressy sandal um for church for formal for dance if you have a young girl and you don't want her to wear heels for whatever reason um this will be a nice alternative these were 20 28.98 and if you have a Prime membership, you can get them in two days. So very nice. Um, I have a wider foot. So when I tried them on, this part was tight against my foot. Like, these are cut pretty narrow. Okay, so keep that in mind. But a very, very pretty shoe. Okay. So, I then, you know, I want more than one option. So, I, um, did they send me the wrong shoe? I think they sent me the wrong shoe. Yeah, I didn't order this shoe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just looking at this now. Maybe the box is different. Does the box say? Yeah. I'm sorry. So let me go back. So this shoe, the brand is DBDK. This is what the box looked like. Okay. That is that. Then next, I bought this sandal. Which again, the same, is this the same maker? Yep, the same maker. So again, you have the silver part here around the heel of the shoe. And this time the rhinestones go all the way around. And these were, these were too small. I have to return these, like too small, too narrow, too everything. If you have a smaller foot, a thinner foot, these may work perfect for you. So I would probably suggest getting the next size up, but they may or may not make a difference if you have a wider foot. And these were $28.98. But I don't believe I ordered that design. I believe I was supposed to get this design. Uh, can you see that? So, yeah, and I didn't get another box, so I don't know what's up with that. And all of my sandals, except one pair, came all together. So then I ordered these kind of basic, just black sandals. I like shoes that I could just slide my foot in like that. I don't like the, the thong type of sandals. They have to fit comfortably and I need to try those on. 
in person, which like really all my shoes, I prefer to try them in on person. Um, these are nice. These are just basic shoes. I was thinking about ordering another pair and blinging them out with um, really big jewels, crystal jewels, and doing the same for around this part and just ordering another black pair or, or silver pair or whatever and just bling it out. But these were $9.98 or 9 these were, sorry, I'm trying to look up the price, $9.99. And these are just by the brand Sandal Up. And just some basic, basic um summer sandals. So they also gave me a coupon to get 50% off of my next order. All right. And is this last but not least? Let me see. Okay. These are like some type, these are like Birkenstocks, but they're not Birkenstocks. Um, they're brown hair, you can see, and the sole is white, which I hate on shoes when <laughs> they're made and they're, they're two-toned, the sole on the upper part of the shoe. So, that's not that big of a deal because I like the this part the jewel part but my foot was like so far off like the sizing is not where it should be um what i was looking at was this part actually like you see this line like white line yeah, these are kind of, um, yeah. I don't know why that's like that, but the sole is white, too. This reminds me of, like, a shower flip-flop, like those Old Navy flip-flops. Those are shower shoes to me. I don't know. But anyway, these were eighteen ninety-eight, and they don't fit either. And I, I bought my size, so... <laughs> I don't know. Maybe because they're manu manufactured in a different country. Um, yeah, I have to return them. I have to. These were eighteen seventy five. Really cute up here. I love how it looks from this angle. This angle. But the side is okay too because it's silver and it's summer. But just the fit. It's the only issue I had. And these were my favorite. Maybe because they fit. <laughs> but these were the highlight of my order. Let me see if I can try to put my my arm in. So you can see. Um, so this part kind of comes up. Higher. Around your ankle. And then there are two like little rhinestone strips. But I purchased these in gold. And these fit well. They're really cute. They're really blinky. Again, if you had somewhere to go and you needed a formal pair of shoes, well, sandals rather, in the summertime, I think this would be a very nice option for you if you don't do heels. But these are not going to be my everyday summer flats. Like... Especially, again, when you have really plain, solid color dresses, like your shoes, your jewelry. Like, imagine if you had some bracelets stacked that were like this. Black dress, simple long gold necklace. This would be really cute. These were $31.80. And this was by Chase and Chloe. That's what the box looks like. All right, so then I, after I ordered those, does this happen to you? This happens to me all the time. After I'm looking for something, I will finally find what I'm looking for after I purchase something else. Hey, sorry. <laughs> I thought um, my husband was up here. So anyway, um, I found these really cute 
sandals. Look how cute. And so they're like that nudie color and they have these turquoise gems. I don't typically prefer um, like the thong flip-flops, but I thought these were pretty cute. I thought they looked cute. And these were, can you see the price tag? These were $24.99. And here's your brand in the box. Okay. So the next sandal. Mm, sorry for the rattling. It's the tissue paper inside of the sandal. Um, anyway, this is the same brand. Some silver. Kind of has that mirrored little baby slide. It's not really a slide. I thought these were super pretty. Of course, rhinestone. I like my accessories. Like I like my accessories in my house. <laughs> Super blingy and rhinestone. And sorry, these were $24.99. This brand was a little bit more than the other ones for whatever reason. Maybe for the jewels. All right, my next pair are these skin toned kind of gladiator sandals. These have a zipper back and they have these gold details and a gold little buckle on the side. And these were $16.99. They're from Marshalls. And again, they're skin color. So these will look perfect with anything. And I'm almost finished, you guys. I also purchased these, oh, that brand of the last one. Oh, I told you what they were, right? Yeah, I think I did. These are from, who are they by? Rampage. These were $19.99 at Marshalls. These are really, really cute. I've had this style before, or something very similar to them. Maybe it was similar. I think they, the ones that I had before, had like tassels, little tassels right here. But these were from Rampage and they were $19.99. And these are like a gold metallic and they have a zipper detail in the back. Super cute. And my last pair of sandals. No, my last pair of sandals are from Carlos Brand. This is what the box looks like. This is what the box looks like. Excuse me. And the design here are like leaves, feathers, maybe feathers. How about that? Feathers. And they're like kind of fringed almost. Again, it's like a soft, it's like a champagne. It's not quite really gold. It's like a champagne-y color. And these were $19.99. And I thought they were really cute. All right, so... Um... I had like one little crossbody and it's really, really tiny. And I wanted to find um, a larger crossbody. Well, I didn't really want to find, well, a little bit larger. And I didn't want to spend a lot on it because it would just be like a throw around bag. And, you know, just something small when I'm going out quickly and I just kind of need my, um, my phone and my wallet. 
and my keys but I ended up finding this and I wanted something fringe like I had something fringe in mind and we seen a purse right and it was very similar to this so let me just show you what it looks like are the fringes going the right way I hope so maybe I can hang it on the door is that gonna look crazy so it is a hobo style bag but you, there's also L, this longer strap here in the back. And it has a zipper pocket back here. And up here it has a ton, a ton of compartments. Now this is slightly, this is larger than what I wanted. But it, it is really cute. It is really cute. And I can make it work. And the brand was Antique Craft. And I saw a Ralph Lauren bag, and I was like, oh, this is really nice. It was $150, and I didn't want to spend $150 on a bag that, one, I don't carry around that often. So, basically, this bag will, will be for whenever I'm not taking my daughter out with me. When I take my daughter out, I just use her diaper bag. I don't use a purse, which I don't know if that's typical, but really since having my daughter I haven't carried any of my other purchase um my purses rather and I'm really just trying to get back to feeling completely like me um and that would kind of explain like the haul and things because I really haven't purchased any sandals or shoes or really clothes all that much since um since I was pregnant so when I'm um, I was pregnant I brought a, a couple of things but it's, because of um, my daughter's due date, I didn't really need to buy a ton of things for the summer. So I was having her, I was supposed to schedule to have her at the end of the summer. So a lot of my um, summer dresses were already um, stretchy. So I didn't need to buy a ton of them. And I'm just really starting to feel like myself again and really taking care of myself and getting things for me and not just going straight to the baby section. And I, I could justify buying things for her because she's ever, you know, she's growing. She's always going to be growing for the next 18 years. I'm always going to have to buy things for her. But really just trying to get back to getting things for me and taking care of myself as well as I take care of my daughter. So this purse... <laughs> was like a dupe for the $150 purse. And this purse was, I think the price tag had came on. So the lady put it back here, $18. And I was like around the price that I wanted to pay for just like a little throw around um, uh, bag. So super cute. So I'm going to definitely wear a crossbody and this will be great. So, even if I even if I am with my daughter and I don't want to take the diaper bag in, I have plenty of room to throw a couple of pampers, her um, bottle, maybe a toy, my wallet, my phone, my car keys, and all of that in here. And it's super cute, like super cute. Maybe I can show you inside. I don't even know if I looked inside. Okay, so inside, besides the stuffing, <laughs> there's like this arrow pattern. And there's a pocket inside, a cell phone pocket inside. So it's pretty large in here. And I like this little outside pocket. I could keep my keys or my phone in here and just have this part facing my body. And of course, I, I would carry, carry it more so in front of me, if that makes sense, than towards your back because anybody could go in your bag if your bag is towards your back. And last but not least, <laughs> I found this cute little purse. Now, this is way smaller than what I need, but we're going on vacation this summer. And um, if I just want to have my, like, phone, this is literally <laughs> something for, like, your phone, your ID, credit card, cash. And this was $12.99. But this is so me. Like, I had my previous purse my small little crossbody, it kind of resembled this. It was larger. It was like envelope sized. But this is really cute and it's super blingy. And I have a lot of solid color dresses. So inside, so there's a pocket right here, a small pocket. And then there's a pocket here. 
but this is tiny like literally your phone can my phone even fit in here <laughs> yeah it would be funny if it couldn't right hold on maybe i need to put some work into it um yeah so literally just your phone could fit in here <laughs> All right, thanks for sticking um, through the whole video with me. Um, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on my next video. Bye.